Hi and welcome to the Tillman Studio and Recording Channel. My name is Claudio, I'm a music producer. I run this beautiful studios here in central London called Dr. Mix. And today I'm going to talk to you about the Roland TR-808. Why do I talk about it? Because this is the most important drum machine arguably ever made. I would suggest that you look it up on uh, Wikipedia and uh, see what the story is with this drum machine because it's really seminal and it's omnipresent in the discography since the mid 80s. It's pretty much everywhere. But before I jump into it, I want to remind you that on this channel I show you recording techniques, production techniques, I show you mixing techniques. If you are interested in all of that, it means you are a producer, a musician, a singer, then you really want to be subscribed to this channel. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification so that you don't miss out. Having said that, let's dive straight into it. So why is it important to know how drum machines work? And I mean the real drum machines, because this is the basis to all of the plugins that you will ever use. Uh, the concept of having 16 steps, like you can see here, is really fundamental. And I'm going to demonstrate it right now. So the first thing that you want to do on an original piece like this is you want to go all the way to the left with this knob and then select A, B. Uh, and then you hit this button. This means that the pattern is cleared now. Now we go to first part. Uh, the 808 has two parts, an A and B. I'm gonna just go to A because we only need the 16 steps for my demonstration. So you then go to BD, which means bass drum, and uh, you start, right? And um, you can see that these 16 steps are now blinking, right? So if I select 1, 5, 9, and 13, I get a nice kick drum. You can see that on my Cubase. I'm recording it there. It's super nice and super deep. Uh, on my specific model of 808, I also have these um, controls, these extra controls for the tuning of the kick. Right? And uh, also you have the tone, which gives you this sort of attack, which, which makes it very defined. So right from the get-go, you can decide the tone and the aggressiveness of uh, this kick drum. So let's, let's choose a nice tone for it. I can even extend it and extend it extra with this control here. <laughs> That's a bit too much, but I like it. Nice and deep, all right? Then um, let's go to the snare drum. Snare drum is this one, okay? Now I have uh, two options here. I can either program it like this, or I can tap it, all right? I'm just gonna remove that one. And uh, on, on an 808, you can also choose the, the two components here. One is tone, and one is snappy, right? So you decide how bright you make it, yeah? On, um, again, on my model, which is very special, obviously, I've got uh, more controls for the tone of uh, these two parts. You see? Okay, now the next bit I am going to program is the closed hi-hat, which is CH. It's this one, and uh, I'm just gonna tap it. Now, as you can tell, this, this, this drum machine is like 40 years old, and uh, sometimes, you know, there's a little bit of oxidization, so it kind of puts some extra note, but we don't mind, right? Here we got the volume of it, okay? 
Now I'm gonna program the open hi-hat, okay? If, if I select the same, the same spot where also the hi-hat is, I get a little bit of accent there. But if I want it to be open, I just need to select one that it's not selected on the close hi-hat, like 16 for example. You see? And um, you can even decide the decay of this. Or long. All right? And again, on my specific model, I also have this control, which, you know, messes up the sound a little bit. And even for the close hi-hat, I have another control here. All right. I am going to da I'm going to now play uh, the clap, which is so famous. Check out. You heard this on a million records, don't you? And uh, again, I have some extra controls here for those claps. Very short or very long. You know. Another <clears throat> famous uh, <clears throat> sound within this drum machine is the cowbell, which you will recognize immediately. Right? And then you also have the low tom, mid tom or high tom, which you can, you can also uh, uh, switch to conga, which basically means it's gonna make it just slightly higher. And uh, let me show you how I usually like to program it, okay? So I'm gonna go to LT for low tom, and then I'm gonna switch as I program it, so. Right? The third one, I'll make it louder, and maybe higher. Check what happens if I go conga here, see? Now the second one, right, maybe like that, and uh, then you can also choose clave, and the clave in this case is same as the rim shot, um, oh, sorry, I should pedal back because maraca can become, uh, claps can become maraca, keep it on claps, and same for the clave. Uh, so if I select RS, which is uh, rim shot or clave, so um, I go, okay, or clave, which I like it. Let's go with a different pattern, like. Maybe a bit less. Now I'm going to show you the symbol, which is CY. And uh, I can go like this, for example. <laughs> right? We can make it different tone. And we can make it shorter or longer. But now I'm gonna show you what I think is the most important part of uh, this machine, which is the accent. Now the accent really changes things around. Let me show you. So the minute that uh, I select AC for accent, I'm gonna turn it down for now, and then I'm gonna select one, five, nine, and 13, which are the downbeats of the four, right? Check out what happens when I pull this up. Now I can probably turn down the cymbal a little bit. So of course this, this pushes the volume up of everything that lands on this four beats. But it also creates a little bit of uh, you know extra distortion, especially in the kick drum. Try to listen for it. You know, it gives it 
a little bit of oomph, which is so great, yeah? Let me turn down the clave. So without it, check out the waveforms as well. Without it, with it. And here's the tempo. Sexy baby. Or fast. Woo. It's an old guy, you have to forgive it. So, I hope you like this. On the next episode, I will also show you how to recreate that and how you know, this system informs us on how to program uh, plug-in drums. And uh, I love my 808. I invite you to learn a little bit more about it. And uh, if you have any subjects that you would like me to touch on in the next episodes, I welcome you to leave a comment here below in the, in the, in the comment section. And um, what can I say? 808. 808 is great. Have a great day. Keep on making great music and stay inspired. Thank you.